Anyway, today I'm going to show you how to make one of these health stamina statistics bar thing. Let's see here. Get a little damage. Get heal ourselves up. I hold down the shift key and we run and the stamina goes down. It's all incredibly exciting. You let go of it and it goes back up. You jump and the strength gets used up. And also if you don't have enough strength, you can't jump. See, I'm trying to jump now and nothing's happening. And now it'll jump. So how did I do all of this? Okay, here in the game menu script, we have the maximum health, maximum stamina, maximum strength, and the current health, strength, and stamina that gets used up. And then we have the health gauge, stamina gauge, and texture gauge strength gauge that are textures, which I just made these little stupid things here to be that. And now down here, beyond GUI, where everything gets done, the bottom of it, our loaded level is not the pause menu, then we display the statistics, which are down here. Let me scroll up a little. So we set our text anchor to middle left, which puts it at the center of the label, but aligned to the left. Font style bold, rich text. And we make a group 10 pixels down and 10 pixels over, 250 by 105, arbitrary. Didn't mean anything, I just came up with it. All right, then we fill it in with a box to make it look all nice and nifty. Then we put our health label. And then we draw the texture which is 120 wide by, then we multiply it by the current health and the maximum health. So if the current health is zero, that make this zero. So 120 times zero equals zero. So the health bar would be gone. But if the current health equals maximum health, then that would be one and 120 times one equals 120. So it'd be full. So if there's halfway, it'll make a half a bar. Same thing for the stamina and the strength. And then we close the group and it gets drawn on the screen. Now, down here, these are the actual routines that do the health and the stamina and the strength. And instead of returning the actual value, you could just return a bool value to say that the health is all gone or not. But I did it so it sends back the actual value so we could use it in the move script and you'll see what that does. But here all we do is we add the health to the current health. And if it's less than zero, then we make it zero. And if it's greater than the maximum health, we set it to the maximum health and then return it. And when you're doing damage, you would send in a negative number to health so you'd like say negative 50. So current health plus negative 50 would be subtracting 50. And it's the same for the stamina and the strength. All right, so over here now, game move we've got the rates at which the things get used up or recharged and this is the current values as they are and down here apply damage is called from the damager script and all that's is a trigger sees if it's the player and if it is it calls that apply damage thing with our damage level 25 it would send in to here and then it would call the do health of game menu over here and subtract that 50 and return it but we didn't do anything with that here you'll see what it does on the stamina and stuff so if it's less than equal to zero then we're dead and the healer calls this apply health so it does the same thing as the damage except it adds 12 or whatever level you want to make it and it would just simply do the do health again in game menu and add the 12. All right so now we go down into the update and see some more grand excitement. So here we are using the stamina with the run assist key which is holding down shift. So as long as you're holding down shift and you're moving which is z isn't equal to zero it's going to subtract some stamina at the stamina rate 
And if the stamina is greater than zero, then it will run. But if it's less than or equal to zero, it won't do anything. So now if you're not pressing the run assist key and the stamina is less than the maximum stamina, it'll start to recharge it. So just recharge rate times the delta time. And then down here for jumping, if the input key is jump, then we check to make sure that there's enough actual strength to be able to do the jump. And if there is, then we subtract the strength from the current strength and jump. But if there wasn't enough and we're not jumping, then we recharge it. All right. That's about it for that. Now for the stamina, as you saw when it was running in the game before, let's get this game going here. All kinds of excitement. You see when you're doing the stamina and I let it go while I'm still running, it goes up and down. I mean, it goes up. Now if I do this and this one, comment this out, and put in this one, Now it will recharge only when we're not running. I mean, when we're not moving, even. We'll see that here. Now I'm running. The stamina goes down, 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 down. All right, we're almost run out of stamina. So we're out of stamina. We're moving. But it's not recharging. I've let go of the stamina key. It's still not recharging. But I stop moving, and there it goes. I start moving it again, and it does not recharge. So there's always that option to do it. And in the healer and damager scripts, if you wanted to recharge and do damage continuously, you would put this on trigger stay. Let me save all. We go in here. And we will see. Now if I stand on this box, it'll die. And if I stand here, it heals up. And that's about all there is to this whole thing. You would obviously have to do whatever you wanted to do to make him die. So... Next time, there'll be even more excitement. Have fun.